Hi, my name is Miss Black and I am so excited to see you. And I am Mrs. Mugabe. I'm excited to see you as well. We are so sad that we can't have you here with us at Pre-Kites. But instead of you coming here, we have another plan. Guess what? We're going to record videos every day for four days in a week. And we're so excited to be reading all these amazing stories to you and sending some activities for you to do while you're at home. So get ready. Join us for the adventure. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hi friends, we're still talking about um, feelings this week and I thought I would show you this feelings chart. Some of you might have this because we sent it home for those of you that were planning on coming to pre-kites this year. But I wanted to show you, these are some of the feelings faces that you might be feeling. So sometimes we might feel angry. Sometimes we might feel sad or happy or worried. Oh, nearly every night Miss Black feels very tired. And most days in the day, I feel a little bit silly at some point. Sometimes I can be very surprised. I hope you're not feeling scared or cranky. But you know what? All of these feelings are okay to feel because at different times we feel each one of these things and it's okay to be one of those things. It's not okay to stay cranky. It's not okay to stay scared. So if you're feeling cranky or angry, that's okay. But then talk about it with your mom or your dad and then hopefully they can help you not feel so cranky anymore. Do you know what sometimes we do? We pretend to draw a triangle and we, we breathe in and then we breathe out and then we go across the bottom and we breathe in and we breathe out and then we go across the bottom. And that helps us calm down when we're a bit cross or a bit cranky. Do you know what? I'm gonna read you a story today and it's not a story that I know very well. And there's some words in this story that Miss Black can't say very well either. So that might be fun for you to listen to. And it's called, Because Amelia Smiled. And we're going to see what happened because Amelia smiled. Now, the person that wrote this story is called David Ezra Stein. So let's see what happened because Amelia smiled. Lots of things happen in this story. Because Amelia smiled. And that little girl there looks like she might be Amelia. Because Amelia smiled coming down the street. There she is. Who do you think she might be walking with? Maybe her mum and maybe her dad. Mrs. Higgins smiled too. That might be Mrs. Higgins there in her house. So because Amelia smiled coming down the street, Mrs. Higgins smiled too. She thought of her grandson Lionel in Mexico and baked some cookies to send to him. Because Mrs. Higgins baked cookies. Let's see what happens now because Mrs. Higgins baked cookies. Lionel ate one of the cookies. He decided to share the rest with his class. Oh, wow. Wouldn't it be nice if Lionel was in our class and shared some cookies? and teach them an English song about cookies. 
Because Lionel taught his class a song, one of his students, kickboxer Sensatia Gulps, decided to be a teacher too. She had her cousin record her in the plaza and put the video online. It's amazing what people can do because you did something. Zesta Crump and her ballet club in England saw the video and decided to add some new moves to their Goodwill recital. In Israel, Kotz Gluberman, age four, who was in the audience, decided he liked dancing after all. Are you aged four too? Do you like to dance? I bet you do. Dancing is fun. At bedtime, he danced his brother Ichabod to sleep. Because Kutz danced him to sleep, Ichabod slept all night through. Wouldn't that be nice to have a baby that slept all night through? In the apartment next door, Betty Marlinspike, a glamorous Roomba queen, got a great night's sleep. She woke up in a good mood and took the band to get her hair done. So she woke up feeling very happy because the baby had a sleep through the whole night the night before. In Paris, the band felt so fancy they gave a free show on the Pointe Neuf. On the barge below, Gregor, the ex clown, listened and sighed. Their love song, Con Corazon, reminded him of his old flame, the amazing Phyllis, who lived in Positano, Italy. And now I think we're going from France to Italy. This is a story that has lots of pages from places around the world. Just like us, we're all from different places, aren't we? The next morning, he bought a bouquet to send to her with a note that said, Phyllis, after all these years, will you marry me? Oh my goodness. He's going to ask somebody to marry him. Phyllis was so happy. She threw roses from a high wire. She was caught on film by a TV crew that was doing a story on stray cats. Look at Phyllis up on a high wire. Oh my goodness. What emotions do you think she's got? I think she's very happy right now. Back in New York, Lydia Frittata saw Phyllis on the TV while making pizzas on Carmine Street. On the subway home, she began a scarf of roses for her niece, Pia Maria. She sat across from Pigeon Man Jones he watched her and remembered his dear old grandma who loved to knit. Mm. Do you know, I think this might be the pigeon man and, I, and he's remembering his grandma from a long time ago. And do you know what? I think that man might not have much family that live close by him. I think his family might be the pigeons. When he got back to his rooftop 
and left his let his pigeons out, he wondered if maybe somehow, wherever Grandma was, she could see them. And there he is, letting out his pigeons so Grandma could see the pigeons. Because Pigeon Man Jones let his birds out, Amelia saw them. And who was Amelia? She was the first little girl, wasn't she? She saw them. And how did that make her feel? She smiled. So that's a fun story about how we treat other people and how that can make them feel and then it can make the next person and the next person. So Amelia was walking and she smiled and then all these other things happened too because Amelia smiled. Lots of people were reminded of people that they loved and that they knew just because one little girl smiled. So maybe when you see, next time you go for a walk with your mum or dad, if you see somebody, you might smile and say hello to them and make their day and make them feel happy for the rest of the day. I hope that you have a happy rest of the day. I hope I do too. And I will see you next time for another story. Bye-bye.